Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Lovely to see you back again. Hope you're doing really well. Today I've got a bit of a pound, pound land, pound shop. You know me, I say pound shop. Um, pound shop, mini, and I mean a mini, mini haul. They had some really nice decor in there at the moment, actually. And I have taken a bit of footage, so I'm going to include that as well. But I actually went in there not to buy any home decor, but to actually get some travel bits because I'm off to Budapest. So I'm off to Budapest with my girlfriends. It's one of my girlfriend's 60th birthday, so we're going to go off and celebrate. We're out there for about five days. Um, so I bought some travel bits, and then I thought I'll share a couple of other things I bought in Pound Shop as well. And just showing you what I'm going to be, be packing, blah, 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 be packing for my little city break in Budapest. So stay tuned, grab yourselves a drink and we'll get on with the video. Right, let me get on first because I'm in my bedroom, as you can, as you can probably tell, and I've got my case on the bed, so I'm getting ready to pack my bits and pieces. So for city breaks, I don't take an awful lot, to be honest with you. Um, and I'll go over and show you what I'm actually going to be packing clothes-wise for my little mini city break. So I've got my little bag of pound shop bits, um, which a couple of things are, 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 are home bits. Uh, I've got a couple of cleaning bits and, and a couple of other bits which are for travel. Um, but let's get the cleaning bits out of the way first, like the homey, the homey little bits. Um, uh, let me see, let me see. Right, that doesn't belong in there. That goes on there, it's part of my packing bit. Right, let's crack on. Um, so just quickly, I've got a cleaning video coming up where I'm doing a bit of spring cleaning in my in my front room, moving the settee from from the, the, the bifold doors at the back there. They go, it's going back to the original place it was. So I'm doing a bit of spring cleaning. I started doing that room, but I, I needed some extra kind of um, cleaning products um, to carry on for the rest of the, uh, carrying through the lounge into the hallway. That's what I'm trying to say, the entryway. Um, and bathrooms as well, which I do the bathrooms regular anyway, but I just needed a couple of extra bits and pieces, you know. So um, I picked up these. Now, these were 75p actually. They're the Cristal scourer scrub pads they're actually eco-friendly pads so on here it's got natural fibers highly durable and a three pack they were 75p and it says on here they're, they're great for kitchens and your bathrooms um and it says new so on here new cristal for 75p so i didn't think that was really bad so you've got obviously your little sponge bit and then you've got your scrubbing bit there um now, when I'm cleaning my bath, I put my soda crystals in there or bicarb and white vinegar and blah, blah, blah. But sometimes if, let's say if Sean's been fishing and, he, and he's actually had to get in a lake, he's quite kind of, what's the word? Grubbed up. <laughs> Can I say that? Grubbed up. So when he gets out of the bath, he really leaves a lot of like soap scum around the side. Well, obviously I'm not gonna clean it at bloody eight o'clock at night or whatever time he comes home. So I tend to do it the next day, which then it's obviously settled onto the bath. So I thought I'm gonna try these because they've got a nice scour of it, you know, to really scrub it all down nice. So for 75p, for a green and clean, it says on here, eco, natural fibers, highly durable, 75p for free scrubbers. So, um, a little bargain there in uh, less than pound in the pound shop. Um, another little thing I've bought. Now, I've never, ever tried this. So do leave me your comments if you've tried this as well. This is Elbow Grease Stain Remover Bar. I, as I say, never used it. It contains no bleach. It contains no enzymes. And it says remove stun and stains from your laundry. Rub directly onto the stain. Anybody use this? No idea. Um, comes in a little packet like this. I'm just going to show you that there. And it says, directions for use. Treat stains as soon as possible. That's not always possible, is it? Because when you're out and about, if you spill, I don't drink red wine, but let's make cake, you spill red wine down yourself. Um, I'd say you're very clumsy. 
<laughs> um, but, but you know what I mean. Um, or, or the kids, you know, they've got stains down the tops or whatever. Um, you know, you can't always do it there and then. So what do you do? Carry one of these around with you? Anyway, um, it says pre-wash treatment, remove excess soiling, solid, hang on, I've got to tip my glasses up. Uh, remove excess soiling or solid residue. Thoroughly wet the fabric and stain and stain with cold water. Rub the bar with both sides on the stain of the fabric and wash it. What? Oh my God. Wash as usual. Emergency spot removal. Remove excess soil in a solid residue. Wear the fabric and stain. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm not going to go on and read the bloody instructions. But let me just get this out. Okay. And it actually says elbow grease written on it. It's just like bar soap. So we're going to give that a go um, next time I have the kids around and I'm going to get some um, uh, stains and we'll give that a go and we'll see how we get on with that. Okay, right, so my next, that's that. Um, I remember telling you all guys before about um, I was coming to the end of my Lenore tumble dryer sheets. Now, I don't use these in tumble dryer because I don't use my tumble dryer. I've probably used it a couple of times since three years I've been in this house with the double drive built in um but i just love the smell of these i just love the smell even this box so i've now finished my other box which lasted me for, for a long 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 time months even the box is not even opened the smell of this is so nice it's like it's like a fresh smell i can just leave this on the side um i wouldn't but i could just to get the smell in the room. This was in the bag, in this bag, in my kitchen, and Sean walked in and went, oh, that's a nice smell, what's that? And I said, it's this. And I showed him that it was these, the Lenore tumble sheets. And it, even he remarked on it. Um, so I've got grabbed another box of these. I stuffed these in my pillows. I, I put them in my drawers as well, like uh, Sean's sock drawer. Um, my drawer, which I've got over in the corner there. Um, I've got some pyjamas in there. I don't put them, I've got to be honest with you, I don't put them right in between the clothes purely because, because I've got sensitive skin, I don't want to put this actually on the clothes. So what I do is put them in an old pillowcase and then they go in the bottom of the drawer and then you get kind of a, a wafty smell up. So it's a little tip there for you. So if you've got sensitive skin, and you want to try these as a room freshener, but a drawer freshener as well. Put them in an old pillowcase, put them in the bottom of your drawer, and then you put your stuff on top, or the other way around, put your clothes in and put these on top in a pillowcase. It will still release the smell, but the, the actual product itself is not touching your clothes. So give that a go. Um, super great in the winter because you can stuff it behind your radiators, and with the warmth, uh, heats up the smell, releases the smell <laughs> i've also rubbed these over the top of light bulbs as well because that also gives it the smell so these are great i love this 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 smell um last kind of homey bit is my little they're called zigzag didn't even know they're called zigzag you know like your kitchen lighters these um there's still a pound in there oh sorry i didn't tell you what these were oh no they were 75p i told you them the elbow grease was a pound the lenore sheets was Oh my god, I can't remember if they were 125 or not. They was either a pound or 125, um, and the kitchen lighter was a pound. This one incidentally has a, a, a refill in it as well. Um, and I use these just for candles. That's all I use. Or in as the summer months come and we're having barbies, I use on, these on the barbecue as well. So grabbed one of those. So that's my kind of little home cleany bits. Now we're going to move on to my little travel items. So one of the things I picked up is a very thin eyebrow and eyeliner brush. Um, I I had my eyebrows tattooed, um, I don't know, a few years ago now, and it's they're fading, it's coming off. And to be honest with you, I can't be bothered to have it done again. Two reasons. One, it's too bloody expensive. And the second reason is it bloody hurts. So I'm not having it done. So I'm just penciling in my own eyebrows. 
<laughs> so I've got I've got an eyebrow um con uh, not contour pad palette an eyebrow palette and it did come with a really thin tiny little brush do you think I can find that bloody brush so obviously not so I bought myself another one this is very very thin as you can see very tiny tiny little head on there little bristles on the top there um, and, and it's purely just for eyebrows. The only problem is it's quite soft. So when you're trying to paint your eyebrows, it, it's it's not, how can I put this? I, I like a firm brush, you know, so it's a proper brush stroke, but this is quite soft. So it's, so it's kind of giving you like a painted effect and that's not what I want, but it's the only thing I've got at the moment. So I'm gonna have to go with this. So as I say, picked up this and it was a pound. Um, and obviously you can use it for eyeliner as well. So that's going in my little stash. Um, these were in the little travel section. Now these are called, these are called, actually it says on here the holiday shop. So these are little reusable squeezy travel tubes. Now normally I get the little bottles, the clear bottles from Primark. <gasps> Primark! And these are called squeezy travel tubes look at these i think they're really good they they remind me of you know like when you get those lollies um and you make your own ice lollies and they're the kind of that shape that sort of shape for lot like making your own lollies it kind of reminds me of that but anyway they're tiny little ones um and obviously you've got your clear pouch as well three in a pack they was a pound let me just get the tube out. I don't know the size. They're 30 mils. They're 30 mils, which for a city break, these are perfect. So put your shampoo in there, put your conditioner in there and put your shower gel in there. Now, I know that you get these in most hotels, but the, the, the um, sh shampoo and conditioners in hotels are never great for me. Um, they, that, they really, really don't wash my hair properly or condition it properly so I always like to take my own so that is the reason why I've picked up these I think they're super cute as bottles go <laughs> I didn't mean super cute um but a nice little size and I'm only going for a city break so um my shower gel my shampoo my conditioner will be going in them and there's a quid let's chuck that over there um toothbrush holder i incidentally i didn't actually get this from pet the pound shop i actually got this from home bargains um they didn't have the only things they had in the pound shop for toothbrushes were the covers which you put over the top of the brushes you know um i haven't got an electric toothbrush i, I just can't get on with them i've had them in the past i cannot get on with them so i just stick to a hand toothbrush um and as she chucks it out so I've got my new toothbrush, a new Colgate toothbrush, and your holder. This holder was 39p in home parkings. But do you know what I thought? If you were, um, any of you ladies who still have uh, have your periods, you know, your monthlies, um, this would be perfect to put your tampons in. You could even roll up panty pads and put them in there as well. For 39p, I just think that's such, it's such a bargain. Um, I mean, you're not going to get an awful lot of tampons in there. If you use the tiny little ones, you could put a few in that end and a few in that end. So, you you know, you might, you might get four in there, um, obviously, depending on the uh, the size of the make. But for 39p, I didn't think that was too bad. And what I like about them is you're, you've covered your toothbrush up. You know, it's not rattling all around in your suitcase or in your toiletry bag amongst all the other toiletries in there. So it's completely covered up and it keeps it nice and um, and it's hygienic. So 39p that was, and that was in home bargains. Um, I'm not taking a big brush with me, you know, because I just don't want to. So I picked up a little mini brush for a pound. But what I, what I think was a really, really good idea is you've got your actual hairbands in there. Now I'm gonna take these hairbands out because they're purple and they're white. So I'm gonna give them to the girls, the little grand girls, and I'm gonna just put my own hairbands in it because obviously I just have black ones. They're tiny little hairbands. Look at the size of these. Look how little they are. Wait a minute. Tiddy-witty little things. So they're gonna come out 
and I'm literally going to put in a couple of my own hair bands into this tube she says as she tries to get the last one out I'm gonna have to get a, a stick or something to look I've got one stuck up there um stick it in there and, and pull it out but what a great idea you could put your little hair clips in there again depending on what size you've got fitting in there done done and dusted little cut you know your little hairbrush for a quid so i thought that was really good um okay going on to i just bought nail varnish today it's just one of them things i'm not taking it with me but i needed to paint my nails my toenails not my fingernails because my fingernails are too short um but paint me toenails and uh, picked up this really lovely coral it's got like a shimmer in it as well coral color let me see if it tells you what color it is and it actually doesn't yes it does and it does say coral on it coral reef 56 if anyone's interested it is a pound time to shine in their makeup range it is a coral color and it has got a tiny bit of shimmer gold shimmer going through it and it's a really pretty color as well because I've got it on my toes. Um, but I'm not taking that one with me. Mini toothpaste. Now I know this was expensive for, for a pound and you can pick up a great big tube for a pound. I know that, but I don't want to be taking a great big tube of toothpaste with me. If I leave it there, it's, it's, it's a complete waste. Um, if I leave this there, it's a tiny little tube. I'm not bothered. Um, so I just picked up a mini travel size. My last couple of things. Now, I've picked up, this was three pounds, and it's the Malibu Dry dry Oil Spray. Um, I don't know what the weather's going to be like. I have looked. It is in the 80s, but it also says there's a bit of rain going on as well. So we, we just don't know at the, at the moment. Um, this is the Malibu. It's only got 10 factor in it. Dry Oil Spray it is low protection it does say it on there but it does cover the uva and the uvb um but i picked this up uh obviously because it's a travel size but what i'm going to do i've got half an empty bottle of the same one but bigger i'm going to tip this out fill the other bottle i've got which is half empty and i'm going to refill this with my 30 factor um because purely because again it is a mini size it was three quid and they never had any high factor in there they only had the 10 um but as i say i i have got a 10 um and i'm just gonna gonna fill that up and i know you're all gonna shout at me saying you shouldn't be wearing 10 i know that um but i have got a 10 it is what it is so that's what i'm gonna do Actually, I'm not going to put it over there. I'm going to put it over there. And the very last thing I got was another one of these water bottles. I've showed you I bought one before. Um, and this is for me when we're walking around because we're doing sightseeing. We've never been to Budapest before. We're going to be doing some sightseeing. And if it is hot, I can put the ice in the middle tube there. And it's going to keep this cold for me all day long. Um, there's still a pound in there. It's a 500 ml bottle. I'm going to keep it wrapped up for now. I'm not going to open it up. Um, but you've got in here like a little plastic carrier bit there. So you can literally hook it on um, a strap or a belt or whatever. Your, your handbag, um, if your straps detach on a bag, if you're traveling, you can hook it through here and then you can just strap it to your waist. Um, or, or a bum bag, you know, when we used to wear the bum bags, strap it on there. So I quite like that idea as well. So it's, you know, really versatile for usage. Um, you can fill it up and have your ice in the middle there or you can just add the water, it really doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, 500 ml for a pound. This one's got pink pink top on it with a grey lid there. So I thought that's perfect for me. Um. Right, that's my little bits from the pound shop. And now I'm just going to put my things together. I'm not going to go all through the clothes I'm going to buy. Um, but I'm, I thought, you know, while I've got my case on the bed and I've got all my bits and pieces here, I'll just go through it with you quickly, yeah? Is that all?
Well guys, that's me done, off to Budapest. Hopefully they're gonna have a wonderful time. I've heard it's a really like, got a lot of history um, over there. So I'm interested in to see that side of things as well. And obviously we're not just gonna be going down the pub <laughs> for a boozy girls weekend trip. We are going to do a lot of sightseeing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of footage at the end, a few pics and a couple of maybe little videos to see how, how long they are. Um, Cause obviously I don't wanna bore you with them. Um, with my travel stuff, but I do find it interesting and I love watching other people when they're doing their traveling because there's places where you think, oh my God, I never knew that was there. You know, um, oh, I've never seen that before. I didn't know about that. So I do find sharing a little bit of travel information gives other people a bit of inspiration as well. So just stay tuned to the end as well um, and, and have a little look. Well, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care and toodle pips. Bye.